yeah how's it going so partly because we get charged for water usage here um, I have decided I'm going to put down a well, a shallow well in my yard um, according to the bore logs there's water about 1.5 meters down below the ground that's the water table so once I get 1.5 meters down I should hit some water so I'll have to go deeper than that obviously um, so this is my well, I've pre-drilled all the holes, this is my well pipe um, and what I'm going to do is I will wrap that I will dig the well first, which I'll do next and then I will wrap the well pipe in some drain matting which I have here um, this drain matting is, allows water to go through and filters out sand and particulates so that will keep the water clean inside the well and obviously won't damage the pump and it'll be reasonably clean water um, <clears throat> I also have some filter sleeve here I'm not going to use this for the purpose it's designed for around pipes you'll find out later what I'm going to do with that um, this is the pump that's going to do the sucking so this will have some pipes on it um, and the way it'll do that is it'll use some probes here some sensor probes these probes will be one at the bottom one at the top because it's a shallow well it'll take a while for the water to fill it so what will happen is when this slowly fills and reaches the top the pump will turn on it will suck all the water out and then switch off once it hits the bottom probe this can then fill back up and it will just keep repeating that cycle until it fills up my rainwater tank this water I'm going to use for irrigation um, so so that's the basic gist of it um, and we might as well get started So I'm now down 1.5 meters and I'm at the level where the water appears to be at. Appears to be soaking through from the sides there as you can see. Um, I'll just keep slugging away and trying to make the hole bigger, see how deep down I can get.
Next I'll wrap on my cloth. So as for my filter sleeve here, the stuff here, I've tied a knot on the end of it, cut it into sections and I'm going to fill that with stones, these stones here. So I've now completed my well system uh, which I'll use for irrigating my garden by these valves and also filling up my rainwater tank over there so it'll have two different functions I'm not going to talk about the irrigation function because I haven't finished that yet but I will just talk about how it fit tops up my rainwater tank so what I've got here is I've got a well I've gone down about 1.5 meters I'll just grab my heat torch So if we have a look in there now, we can see the water down the bottom. So I've got some sensors in there, some probes. Um, what they do is, via those relays there, they will allow the motor to pump down all the water, pump out the water, uh, and when the, when the water empties out to the bottom probe, the pump will automatically turn off uh, and it'll stay off until the water fills back up and hits the top probe again when it will turn on, empty out, turn off, fill up, etc, etc, etc. It'll do that until that rainwater tank is full. That rainwater tank also has a probe in it up there. Um, there's a relay for it. So that when, when that tank is full, this red light will come off and it will stop this pump from pumping water into that rainwater tank. So, um, what I might do is I'll turn this tap on. Oop. Bit of excess water in there. And I will divert it away from the rainwater tank. <coughs> and I'll give it a test run. And we'll see how clear the water comes out. Uh, the other thing is here is, this is my centrifugal pump. This is my automatic pump control to protect it from running dry. So I've switched it off. As you can see, it's ready to pump because their well's full. So what I'll do is I'll switch it on. Use the pump. So this is the water, it's not potable water obviously, it's for irrigating, but it's actually not too bad, it's pretty clear, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, I think that'll be um, that'll beat water charges, um, and I'll be able to just leave this on, automatically fill up my rainwater tank, and um, yeah, I'll just have free water, unlimited water I suppose, so I'll turn that on now, and we'll have a look at how it pumps down takes about 15 minutes to fill back up each time so it's about 15 minutes per pump for the well to fill back up so I'll switch that on I'll divert that to the tank turn this tap off 
and as you can see it's pumping out all the water until it hits the bottom probe where it turns off can't quite see the probes on this and then it will fill back up and that's it really so next thing I'll do is I'll at some stage hook up my irrigation system so yeah thought I'd share that